Hey guys, <laughs> how you guys doing today? So I came out to the greenhouse. It's really nice out today. And I was thinking about how I haven't set up my temperature sensors. Now the batteries died on them, of course, because I mean, they've been out here for a year now sitting around. So first thing we gotta do is make sure, hey, look at that, it already lit up. Sensor works. Now we gotta do the other side. That's the lacrosse. Lacrosse. Do you guys use these at all? I find them very handy for all the experiments that I was doing last year. I was able to keep track of two different temperatures throughout the greenhouse. Uh, like when I did the double greenhouse, I had one inside of there and then one in the normal greenhouse. And I just kind of take a peek at them every night. I set them on my work desk and uh, keep an eye on what my temperatures are in the greenhouse, what they hold at. So we got this one on. Give it a second to adjust. We'll get this other guy going. All right, well, uh, let me get you a little more light. Turns out the batteries were dead, uh, the ones that I probably put in that other monitor. But this monitor is up and running, guys, 46, 64, so it's obviously got to adjust just came down to temperature so let that adjust one of these goes in the house with me where it should always be about 69 degrees 70 degrees and then the other one we're going to use to monitor our temperatures in here as we keep building this out and working on getting this thing a little more sturdy and just a little more robust when it comes to holding heat uh, which is what we're going to be working on so i'm going to try to show you guys what exactly has been going on on the corner over here I'm losing a ton of heat that could be inside the greenhouse uh, because, and I, I, I used the wrong wood, so you guys seen this. I used just a regular old plywood. I had intentions of painting it. Never got to it. <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? So anyways, <laughs> that's going to come. I'm going to redo the ends of these eventually, but I still want to buff, beef up the inside of them so that when I do the outsides in a better wood they'll actually be able to adhere a lot better and just they won't have the same issue so it got wet you know because winter rain snow ice kind of came apart a little bit it warped a little bit right here and you can see from my cattle panel there how much space there is all i'm doing is losing air there right now so anything that could be warm staying in here is all escaping through that hole and as you saw in the other video the big ginormous gap here now of course i went to the to home depot and i got a couple things but you know what i didn't get the foam to put around the door ay 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 <laughs> so that will be another trip another day going back there and getting that and setting it up can you guys see all right so that'll be another day we gotta go back we gotta get that set that up but right now i'm gonna put in some more of these braces and I'm gonna be able to screw that back in a little bit more on the outside there and hopefully that'll take care of my issue and actually give me a good seal again uh, because with the foam that I used on the inside here it kind of adheres to any kind of fluctuation in that as long as I'm really tight to it it holds fairly tight so huh, I won't make you watch all of that because I know it'll be boring so let me do what I gotta do we'll come back times I wish I was a master builder because if I would have thought anything of it I would have actually screwed these together first before I screwed this one in place because now I gotta put a weird angle on that screw to get it in there what are you gonna do my new saying will just be I'm not Jason from Soda Land
it's not as pretty as the other side. That'll work. Great success! Yeah, okay, so I feel great about this now. Got it nicely secure up against this board in here on both sides. Let me show you outside, we can actually see it. Adjust for the light. Adjust for the light. Okay, so now you see it, look at that. No gap between the foam and that board. That's gonna be what's, uh, that's gonna be a winner there. All right, I feel good about that. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, so with that being done, I think I'm probably gonna do the back also. Now they aren't splaying out like this one did. So, but I still think I'm gonna do it just because uh, better safe than sorry. All right, well, I've been out here working about 20, 25 minutes now, and my little thermostat here says it's 46 in the greenhouse right now. And that's with me opening the door, working on it. Not too bad, not too shabby. So hopefully now that I get the, the end sealed up a little bit better, it'll retain a lot more of this heat. 46, 47, so it's mid 40s. Not too bad. I have no idea what outside, outside is. Let's see if we can find out real quick. This is thrilling content, me looking up whether or not the temperature. Right now, it looks like it is still loading. 34. So, what, we're 10, 12 degrees warmer in the greenhouse as of right now? I expect that to be a little bit different now that I actually put the ends sealed tight <laughs> uh hopefully they uh they will be holding a lot more heat in here so it's not going to be the so 12 right now i'm hoping that's going to be a lot different in the next day or two now are you guys wondering what's next so i found this stuff it's like a foldable foam stuff and the only reason i got this foldable one was honestly uh so little story here so let me tell you the story about why I got this foldable stuff and I didn't get like a big sheet. So <laughs> I drive that Buick Rendezvous and whoever designed the lift gate on that should never be allowed to design another thing in their entire life. I bought the car used and I got one key fob with it and the key fob broke, came off my keychain. I have no idea where the key fob is. So here's the, uh, the thing with the key fob and that stupid Buick Rendezvous is that there is no lift handle on the back that you just pop the handle and the lift gate opens. There isn't any of that. The only way to pop it is with the, the key fob or I can climb inside, like take a little piece off the handle, push the little thing down and open it from the inside. Yeah, I ain't doing that. So <laughs> whoever designed the lift gate on the Buick Rendezvous, that guy is a dirt bag. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> But I got this foldable uh, foam, it's a quarter inch, uh, with as much as came in the stack and how little my walls are front and back, I'm thinking I can definitely double it up and have a half inch layer thick of uh, this foam. And I'm thinking the quarter inch is actually going to be better for when I'm trying to cut like those tiny pieces out to put in those little tiny holes I just created in the front there. So this is our next project guys and we're gonna see how this does to help hold some of that heat in here so that I can stay warm while I make these videos for you guys and who knows maybe we'll grow our greens a little bit better if it actually stays warm in here they're very small they've just kind of stopped growing at this point it's kind of a bummer but it was a little bit expected knowing that uh, what happens in the winter with greens in a greenhouse even though uh, if you don't have an outside source of heat they will slow down they will not grow very fast so <sighs> yeah there we go this is next stay tuned we'll be putting this on the walls and i'm going to show you how i'm going to do all that and how i'm going to glue it and then seal the door up we're going to be looking good in here be looking really good in here i'm really pumped about this i feel like this is going to be the uh, the next step in the evolution of the greenhouse i'm thinking if i put these on the end and i don't 
frame it out on the inside with uh, wood right away. I'm wondering if I just painted this black, if these would actually retain heat also. And then my ends could be heat along with what we're going to be doing with the heat sink stuff. Uh, yeah, man, I think this thing could really rock out. All right, well, I'm going to get to it. I got a lot more work to do. Uh, that's it. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on what I'm working on in the greenhouse here. Because this is it. Like, once I get these things all done, then we're going to start working on the actual experiments for trying to heat this a little bit better than we are. Uh, which, those should be pretty entertaining. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing them last year. I, actually, I put one right here for you. This is probably my favorite. The uh, clay pot heater. Yeah, I totally don't believe in that thing. I, it irritates me every year when I see it pop up all over the place. And everybody's like, oh, you just need some tea light candles and a clay pot. So, no. It's a bunch of garbage. Don't believe it. Uh, watch the video. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.